Hello everybody and welcome back to some more scrap mechanic my god I just I love our our little wind turbine here. Oh my goodness. It's so cool I can't get over this thing. It's so awesome. Just look at it. Oh my god We're back with another episode of scrap mechanic and uh, I gotta get down from here somehow I guess I'll just have to jump Woohoo! <laughs> My god, I absolutely love that thing so much. It's probably my favorite build that I've made on Scrap Mechanic yet. My god, it's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. But, uh, it's not what we're working on today, guys. We are done with all of our power-related stuff. As cool as it does look, and if only there was more we could do with it, I would totally be working more on it. But for now, this isn't what we're working on. What we're working on today is we're going to be messing around with some of the new blocks that were actually added to Scrap Mechanic just recently, which are a bunch of the uh, glass blocks. We've got a glass block and a bunch of these rectangular windows, which is super duper cool. And I can't wait to get working on with these. Now, as you guys may know, I love making buildings. We've got our awesome garage here, and we even have an old house that we made all the way down this mountain. If we can see it from up here, uh, we can't, it's over there though. But uh. I love making houses and buildings and whatnot, so when the new glass block came out, of course the first thing that I thought of making would be a greenhouse. A place where we could put all of our plants and all sorts of things, and it would be a building that we could make completely out of this new glass block, which, although it looks kind of weird, I still think it'd be super cool to go ahead and make something like that. Now, I'm not really sure how this thing is going to go down. But uh, at least we've got a cool new glass block that I can't wait to start working on. Now, this glass block is a bit hard to see. I mean, it's a bit greener and whatnot, which is a bit weird. But I also think that kind of suits the thing. It's a greenhouse and the block is kind of green. <laughs> I don't know, but I definitely think it's going to be really cool to see what we can do with this thing. I'm wondering, does it actually cast a shadow? No, so it will still be really light on the inside, which is really cool. So I can't, I actually... Can't wait to get started and seeing how this kind of a block will actually look if we get a, go ahead and start working on a greenhouse of sorts. So I can't wait to get started with that. Now, what I had planned for this greenhouse of sorts, everybody, was that we'd go ahead and we'd do it up in an area around here. I'm not truly sure where I want to do it. I was hoping somewhere around here, but I don't want to make it too close to the garage. And I don't want it to be cast on by this shadow. So I'm thinking maybe even going up here or something. I want it to be definitely close though because I want to start building all of our stuff in this general area so it feels more populated with buildings and whatnot. So I'm thinking maybe right up here. Oh, this would be, this would be perfect if we were to build it right up here on this hill. I think that would be really, really cool. So actually, I think this would be a perfect place. So I think this would be the perfect place to go ahead and do it. So... What I had planned, everybody, was that we'd actually go ahead and maybe build something like a foundation like this or something where we could actually get it off the ground so the grass wouldn't be visible through the ground. Uh, and if we did that, then we'd go ahead. Ooh, oh man, I'm having newer and cooler ideas. What if we actually used the grass in the building of sorts so it actually seemed like it was part of the greenhouse oh I'm having such crazy ideas guys I don't know what we're gonna do but uh, I want to definitely mess around and see what we can do with this maybe we'll go ahead and do something like this and then we'll end up having all the walls up or something but then we'll have different flooring that actually was used on to walk on so that it actually seemed like all of these plants were part of the gardens inside the greenhouse I don't know Maybe that won't work. I don't know. I'm crazy. I'm just thinking aloud with you guys right now. But I'm actually going to go ahead. I'm going to get started messing around with this. And I, I definitely think it's going to come out really cool once we have some success with this. I just got to figure out. I don't, actually don't think this is the perfect location. Just because it's getting kind of close. It's probably going to fall off the ledge there. Maybe somewhere closer to over here. I don't know. We're just. I'm going to have to mess around with some ideas. Try and find the perfect location for this where it actually fits in and looks like it might actually work out well. And then I gotta go ahead and add my amazing design skills to it to make us have the coolest greenhouse you ever seen. <laughs> Let me get to it, you guys, and uh, I'll show you guys when I've got some progress. And there we go, you guys. 
Ooh. Ooh, it's looking nice. Oh, it's looking so nice. <laughs> I love it. So basically what I went ahead and did was I took the stone brick for the base of this thing because just like that building over there and any building, you kind of have to do this in scrap mechanic because the problem is that all of this grass grows through everything, even right here. So if you're gonna wanna build and not have all these things popping right through, you've gotta do this. So that's kind of why I had to do our little foundation here. But once I did that, it looks good. I, admit I painted it all this brown color so it looked more darker. I don't know, I just thought it might have cooler contrast with some white up here for the framework because I don't know, I've always had that in the mindset that a greenhouse has a white frame and then glass in between and I think that this actually makes that look really super duper awesome. Now, I haven't actually gone ahead and put in any of these glass in between here just yet. I want you guys to be here when I went and put the first pieces in because I actually don't know how this is gonna look but I have a good feeling that this thing's actually gonna look pretty good and I actually think I missed, yeah right here we missed ourselves a single uh, part of this right there and now that that's in there it should be good uh, and so how does that look? I'm thinking that that glass actually looks really good in there oh my god that glass actually, oh that looks so good oh my goodness it looks so good oh my god the color it's just I think it goes really good against that. Oh, I actually, I really like that. Oh, oh, I like that, guys. I like that a lot. Ooh, what do you guys think? Like, sure, let me know. I'm thinking it's, oh, this thing's gonna look awesome. Now, what I really like is, like, we were testing out the glass over there earlier, and this is really looking cool because I really don't see, although it is dark, the glass, it doesn't actually make the room any darker. All this lighting still looks pretty, pretty good. And I'm, I'm hoping that's gonna carry on once we actually put a roof on this place. But ooh, I'm thinking this is gonna look really good. So what I actually have planned for the roof is something a bit different than what we've done on most of our houses up until now. And what I actually have planned is maybe instead of doing just a flat roof or having a roof that we go ahead and do it in a kind of a triangle way, doing it like that and having our roof go up like this in kind of a diagonal way just like that, I'm thinking we're going to do something a bit different. I've been thinking about this for a while because I use bearings for a lot of different things to make things look cooler. I know on the roof of our building over there, we use bearings to put like ladders and I use bearings just to make things angled and look better. So I kind of feel like actually putting the roof on a bearing might be a cool idea because if we do that, that means we'll actually be able to go ahead and make the roof diagonal but flat as well. So maybe we could have this roof go up straight like this and then there could be a bearing right there that lets the the roof go down diagonally. So I don't actually know how I'm gonna go about making that work, but I think that would be a neat idea. I definitely think that'd be something cool that I could try. It might not look too good, but I think it's at least worth a shot. But here we go, all of our glass is actually down right now, and I'm thinking it looks it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good guys. I think it looks pretty good and I don't even I didn't even know, mention this to you guys But right here I actually use concrete on the floor and I painted it brown and I'm gonna be honest It actually really looks like dirt. It really does It looks a lot like dirt Which is gonna be really cool when we actually start putting plants and stuff in here because it's actually gonna look like a greenhouse with actual dirt and whatnot But yeah, there we go. It's come together Really nice, I actually think it looks like a greenhouse so far and I can't wait to keep working on the rest of it. But I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna get working on that roof I was telling you guys about and we'll just have to see how it comes out. But I'm gonna go ahead, get working on that and I'll let you guys know once we have some progress. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh my God, guys, are you seeing this roof? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my goodness. That is one good looking roof. Holy cow, guys. I've been working on this entire roof here for so long. And I kid you not, this has taken forever. But oh my goodness, was it worth it. Just look at how that looks. That's like the best greenhouse roof in the world. Holy cow. That came out nice. Oh my goodness. I can only imagine the most beautiful plants are going to be grown in this greenhouse. 
But yeah, oh my goodness, I swear you guys, this took probably like just a, in a couple hours just to complete the roof alone. Uh, it was just a big pain because this whole roof is hinging on and then just one bearing from there all the way to there and then the back one is all the way from there all the way to back there because there's one bearing just up in that corner so if any I swear this thing oh yeah at one point this just bugged out and this thing was like all the way over here it literally flipped the whole bearing glitched out and I had to hit it back into the right area and that took forever but it's okay because now it is done. This roof is completed and it looks so good. The only thing that is a bit odd is right here, it's not really connected, but that's how it had to be just because these roofs didn't, they're not the same piece. So they, they come in at different angles and it's just, it's not possible for them to connect, but it's okay. I think it looks really good other than that. I really like how these little windows are right out here. I ended up using these, uh, the slant blocks and painting it white and it actually came out really good and oh my gosh I love it I love it this looks so good it looks so good oh my god best best greenhouse you've ever did see but now that the actual building is complete you guys we've actually got to go ahead and we've got to start working on the inside here we have a dirt floor in here but it's time for this thing to actually get filled in now I'm not fully sure what I plan on doing here I'm thinking that maybe I'll end up making some sort of flower beds or something. I'm, I really am, I'm not fully sure as to what I want to do. Maybe something like this, where you end up having all of your flower beds in here. I don't, I really don't know what I have planned. I'm really unsure, but um, I'm thinking we could do some cool stuff. It's going to take some messing around though, because I just, I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, but I'm, it's definitely going to be cool. I'm going to make this thing look brilliant i've made everything else up till until this point look super fantastic if i if i can't finish it making it look beautiful in here i'm gonna be truly disappointed in myself so i'm gonna get working on that and i'll let you guys know when this greenhouse is complete <laughs> there it is you guys our finished greenhouse oh my goodness let's take a little walk inside and look at all of those beautiful plants. Oh my God, so pretty. Oh my goodness, we got some shelving here with some plants on a shelf. And then we got some more plants on a shelf. And oh, look at that, some more plants on a shelf. Oh, it's looking so good. And if we walk over here, we even have some little plant beds over here. We got some boxes, we got some even gas tanks or I don't really know some just tanks maybe of water or something and all of these other plants all over the place and in the center we even have ourselves a little cabbage bed here so we're making some uh, cabbage uh, not the most delicious thing but we definitely got some cabbage there but now if we want to go ahead and shut our doors we can do so just like that and then we can go ahead and turn our sprinklers on Ooh, oh my goodness there we go. We got our tiny little sprinklers spinning around, keeping all of our plants nice and hydrated so that they do not wilt and die on us. But there we go. That is our greenhouse completed. Oh my goodness. I think this thing came out so well. I actually really like how this thing came out. It's super duper cool. I'm really glad I got to actually put the glass to good use. I was debating what I wanted to do for a build and I ended up coming up with this, you know, the whole greenhouse idea. I know my pal Diesel Designs did a greenhouse as well. And he was like, you know, give it a whirl. And I so I was like, okay. And then I made myself my own greenhouse and I think it came out pretty gosh darn awesome. I really like how these windows up here look. It came out pretty cool being all triangular and whatnot. It still came out pretty cool, but there we go. That is our good old greenhouse. And I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a like. It is much appreciated as well as leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of this awesome little greenhouse here. But uh, for now, that's what we're going to call it. If you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The links are all in the description as well as on the top of the screen right now. But for now, so we're going to leave it. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will see you guys all 
in the next one. Bye!